Section 38 of Studies in Word Association. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Kristen Hand. Studies in Word Association by Carl Gustav Jung. Translated by M. D. Eder. Chapter 8. Cases Illustrating the Phenomena of Association in Hysteria. Part 3. Sixth case. Bertha Sch. This patient, 28 years of age, has suffered for the last three years from hysteroepileptic attacks. Her sister has suffered likewise for the last seven years. Before her marriage, patient had sexual connection for about a year with her present husband, a drunkard. When a neighbor in a dispute accused her of this, she got a brief aphonia. The words stuck in her mouth. She had her first attack when the marriage was definitely settled. She would rather not have married the drunkard, but dare not go back. During the attack, gestures of repugnance and abhorrence played an important role. The marriage was unhappy. The patient separated from her brutal husband and went back with her rather delicate and nervous child to her family. Her husband frequently annoyed her again. Owing to these causes, attacks took place from time to time. After hypnotic treatment, the woman remained for six months without any attack and was vigorous and able to work. After having been again waylaid by her husband, some isolated attacks took place after violent scenes. In the associations, we find at least 35% that certainly belong to the hysterogenic complex, husband, unhappy marriage and its consequences, poverty, hard work, worry about the child, the patient is one of those persons who react, on the average, pretty quickly, and not in sentence form. With them, the accent is on the more or less abrupt, long prolongations of the reaction time and on the faults. In the latter, the stimulus word strikes the complex and no verbal reaction follows at all. In this case, as in many cases of hysteria, the patient is quite unable to say why she cannot answer whilst in hypnosis she gives a correct answer. In many normals, no verbal reaction is produced in quite analogous places. We register a fault, and finally we can, in the waking state, get information as to the correct grounds of the fault. There are faults of different intensity. In both cases, we have a fault due to the complex. The mechanism of its occurrence, whether conscious or unconscious, is the same, only the degree of dissociation of the complex is much stronger in the first case. The complex is removed from consciousness. Examples. Journey. Fault. Cannot give the reason for the fault. In hypnosis, honeymoon journey. Proud. Fault. Subsequently, bag. In hypnosis, purse proud, thinking of her brother's wife with whom she is now living. Strange. Fault. No reason found in waking state. In hypnosis, after the separation, I wanted at first to go to some strangers, not to my brother's wife, but I finally did so. She complains, however, that she has to eat humble pie there. Mix, fault, cannot state the reason. In hypnosis, sexual connection with her husband. The stimulus word mix is often taken in this sense. Cross-reference the stimulus word mix and blood in case four, Mrs. M. C. Forget, fault, in hypnosis, misery, my husband. Her husband worries her all the time. Gleich, similar, fault, laughs. She cannot explain why nothing occurs to her, that she cannot say anything. In hypnosis, with a great deal of resistance, she thought of a part of the body. The dialect word gleich is a slang word for limb or penis. Her husband is again persecuting her, wishing to renew sexual life. Stalk, fault. In the waking state, patient cannot give the meaning of the fault. In hypnosis, she states that her husband is a withered stalk. Is that the final explanation? We have seen that in many cases, stalk arouses the presentation of penis and causes a long reaction time. Our case is to some extent an answer to the question how far complex reactions influence the succeeding indifferent associations. Cross-reference, chapter 4. The series. Disteem, esteem, 1.6 seconds. Tooth, 
mouth, 3.6 seconds. Just, unjust, 7.2 seconds. Folk, right, 19.6 seconds. Stink, smell, 1.4 seconds. Shows a gradual increase of the reaction times up to folk, right. The next reaction is short and seems to be independent of the previous ones. It could not be definitely proved whether the first ones are independent of one another. In just, unjust, 7.2 seconds, folk, right, 19.6 seconds, that is certainly not so. The first influences the second. We have a kind of perseveration. In just, unjust, 7.2 seconds, we get the explanation in hypnosis. Latterly, her husband is again pursuing her. That is unjust. Folk, volk, right, wrecked, is a form of perseveration to unjust. Perhaps there is a slang association to volkrecht, the title of a newspaper which circulates among the patient's friends and neighbors. Hypnosis shows she was thinking about her husband. We find, moreover, in the associations the following. Unjust treatment, 7 seconds. Frog, toad, 9 seconds. Both associations refer to her husband. The first, obviously, as was confirmed in hypnosis. To the second, the hypnotized patient said frog gave her a feeling of nausea, immediately adding, so does my husband. We find a similar after effect in the reactions. White, black, 3.6 seconds. Ring, finger, 6.8 seconds. Her husband's name is black, hence the delayed time. To ring, the immediate association was wedding ring. A few other typical complex reactions require notice. There is a complex child, which means an increase of the attacks. The patient complains that she can no longer sleep or rest. Since her separation, she must keep herself and look after her restless child. Angel, child, 5 seconds. Quiet, noise, 2.4 seconds, refers to the child. Sleep, get up, 3.4 seconds, refers to the child. Tired, courage, 3.2 seconds, refers to the child. Modest, child, 8.8 seconds. Wake, child, no delay. Bed, sleep, 1.4 seconds. The reaction sleep is frequently repeated. She generally uses such repetitions when there is a complex, in this case about the child. Separate, come, 1.6 seconds. Meet, come, 1 second. Certain, come, 9.2 seconds. A repetition of the reaction referring to the last invitations and plotting of her husband. To a reaction, wild, hunter, 12.2 seconds, the patient explains that her brother is a hunter. Then, I thought of myself. I'm often wild, with rage. My husband often came home wild. Seventh case. Julius SCHW, a clerk, 23 years. Many tests were tried with this patient. On 23rd, 1st, 7th, 11th, 14th, 11 without time measurements, on 15th with time measurements, 690 associations altogether. The patient had perpetrated 11 arsons within six weeks in a hysterical twilight state with amnesia and under the influence of drink. We will limit ourselves to repeating peculiar manifestations of perseverations which were strongly marked in this case. From the first test, light, fire, star, red, thought of fire, strike, a match. This short series shows a peculiar form of perseveration of the content in three successive reactions. In the reaction, strike, a match, it comes out very clearly. That this phenomenon of perseveration began at the stimulus word light explains itself. In the second test, we meet this phenomenon more and more. Stimulus words set up far-reaching series of presentations, the stimulus word being forgotten. We find a beginning in the following places. Head, red. Ink, black. Needle, pointed. Bread, bath. What was the stimulus word? Ink, a little later. Mountain, book. Hair, beard. Stimulus word? 
Pat Bear. Salt, water, stimulus word, old. Or was it old salt? Dream, foam, copybook, skittle. Stimulus word? Patient, dazed and laughing, says, here's copybook. Laughing more and more, obviously in hallucination. After a while, he points with astonishment to the examiner and says, I thought I saw someone else. I have played Skittles somewhere in W, surely. The patient suddenly thinks the examiner has given another stimulus word. This dream state was certainly set up by the stimulus word dream. The patient is frequently concerned with a dream of playing Skittles in W. What is connected with this could not, unfortunately, be found out. The ten reactions that followed had nothing noteworthy. The patient seemed clear-headed. Then the following series came. The vertical lines denote the length of the perseveration. Frog, dog. Flower, good. Perseveration starts. Patient gets a staring look, gradually increasing but still reacts regularly. Cherry, sun, long reaction time. Asylum, star. Warder, flower, long reaction time. Perseveration ends. Piano, music, beats with the hand upon the table as if lost in thought. Perseveration starts. Fern, mignon. Stove, mirror. Walk, orange. Cook, lemon. The head sinking more and more upon the table. Water, Mozart, long reaction time. Dance, Feline, long reaction time. Cat, Laertes, long reaction time. Dozen, no answer. What word did I say? Italian, and perseveration. Dark, light, patient awakes. Heart, hand. Bird, air, begin perseveration. Swim, fly, perseveration ends, white, blue, etc. It then occurs to the patient himself that he is always falling asleep. He often dreams in the same way, calling up melodies. In the second test, similar phenomena occur. Wonderful, beautiful, perseveration starts. Child, blue, dark red, fire, sweet, cry, ride, jump, perseveration ends. Shortly after, crown, trumpeter, you, room, does not know stimulus word or reaction immediately afterwards, greenish, red, against, again, raw, brilliance, perseveration starts, smell, fortune, bright, count, sweet, duke, Love, veranda, prison, carpet, separate, Wahlberg, Walperg, ill, orchestra, perseveration ends. We see that states arise set up by certain stimulus words. When the stimulus words are not followed by any reaction, that makes sense, but serve as sparks for a reaction. The reactions that follow correspond to a circle of ideas aroused by the first stimulus word, remaining active for some time. Careful examination of the patient at such moments shows him to be in temporary twilight states, which are produced by the particular stimulus word. A definite circle of ideas is aroused. The patient forms it while subject to complete hallucination, ignores the sense presentations, is untroubled about his surroundings, and lives in a quite other milieu. Passion for fire, skittles, a bit out of mignon at the play. On the particular day when the above tests were given, the patient was much inclined toward twilight states, but in the other tests, much the same thing occurred. The tendency to twilight states was very common and was so far under control that it was usually determined by some effect. A visit from his parents, moving books, and especially sentimental love scenes in performances given at the asylum and lyrical music. In the series of perseverations, there is some strong emotional situation. Emotions are often the cause of perseveration in association experiments, where it is not a distraction of attention. 
attention is concentrated for some time upon the critical presentation, hence the subsequent reactions come up shorn of attention. Then the phenomenon of distraction occurs. In well-pronounced cases, this expresses itself by no reaction occurring to the stimulus words, but only to the content of the previous critical reaction. It is in this wise that we are to understand the occurrence of the perseverating series. The situation aroused by the critical stimulus word is so emotionally powerful that it completely chains the interest, so that the patient quite loses consciousness of his surroundings. He passes into a twilight state, Pick's dreamy state. These examples are of theoretical interest because they show how the common complex perseverations are only separated by degree from the hysterical twilight state. Eighth case, Betty S.L. This patient, 19 years old, was an illegitimate child brought up by a foster mother. Her own mother later married somebody else. At the age of 14, Betty returned to her mother, but was soon badly treated. She was driven, after all kinds of dissensions, to take a place as servant in the same town. After taking the situation, she once unexpectedly met her mother, who looked at her with hatred and scorn. The patient staggered home and had her first hysterical attack. The content of the attack corresponded to this origin. The patient had a hallucination, her mother's face with its expression of hate and scorn. The last attacks occurred when the patient got news from home. The associations were taken in French. There are markedly long reaction times. Recalcitrant, aimable, 8 seconds. Malade, convalescent, 7.8 seconds, refers to herself. Menace, caresse, 6 seconds. Méprisé, agréé, 6 seconds. Peculiarly remarkable in this case is the frequent distraction from the surroundings which we have already met with in a more rudimentary form in the associations of normal persons. It is a complex indicator. The correct reaction is blocked. As a cover reaction, some external perception is taken, some object in the room, or something similar. We find the same phenomenon in the associations during states of emotional paralysis. Examination paralysis showing manifestations similar to affective complexes. In this state, faults, repetition of the stimulus word, etc., occur also. In the case under consideration, there are peculiar relationships between the emotional stupidity which expressed itself at the beginning of the experiment, chiefly in her distraction to her surroundings, and the complex to which the associations with the delayed reaction times belong. Tet, Rue, looking through the window. Vert, lamp, in the room. O, fu, two seconds. Pique, on crie, 1.2 seconds, in room. Ange, fenate, 1.4 seconds, in room. Long, lunate, 1.2 seconds, on the table. Bateau, arbre, 2.2 seconds through windows. Labure, fouille, 3 seconds, looking at a tree. Len, Pierre, 3.4 seconds, outside. Amiable, méchant, 1.8 seconds, gives place to laughter. This is an instance of appropriate emotion to which attention was called in case 1. Tabla, Couillère, 3.4 seconds. Is the delayed reaction time an aftermath of the previous complex reaction? Porte, tableau, 1.4 seconds, in room. Etat, volé, 2.2 seconds, through window. Recalcitrant, amiable, 8 seconds. Danser, bois, 3.2 seconds. Tige, lou, two seconds. Patient can give no explanation at all of these meaningless reactions. Lach, Riviere, 1.2 seconds. Malade, convalescent, 7.8 seconds, reference to her condition. Augury, 
Simplicité, 1.6 seconds. Couillir, brûlé, 4.8 seconds. Anka, plume, 1.6 seconds. Méchant, sage, 2.4 seconds. Aiguille, fil, 2.6 seconds. Nagi, noyi, 2 seconds. Voyage, repose, 7.2 seconds. Journey from her home in Switzerland away from her mother. Menace, caresse, 6.9 seconds. Complex. Lampe, chapeau, 2.2 seconds. Chapeau de lampe. Riche, pauvre, 0.8 seconds. Abri, branché, 4.8 seconds. Chante, pleure, 1.6 seconds, etc. The distraction to the surroundings, the corresponding reactions are in italics, as shown at the beginning, is an expression of the slight emotional stupidity present in this reserved, somewhat frightened girl. We see that these reactions, with the exception of the superficial reaction, o, f, are only interrupted when complex reactions occur and that they quite disappear after the second complex reaction, recalcitrant amiable, eight seconds. In the fifth case, Verena D., it was a complex which set up the continuous reaction in sentence form. Here, the complex breaks down the reactions due to emotional stupidity. We found a similar phenomenon, the liberation, by a definite word, of an almost unbroken series of complex reactions in the associations of normal persons. Subject number seven, educated men. Emotional stupidity is also seen in the associations of many imbeciles and epileptics. In some cases of hysteria, it persists during nearly the entire experiment. These often present a picture similar to certain pictures obtained from persons in a twilight state. In later experiments carried out with the same person, it may quite disappear. Summary. In the forefront of the hysterical type of reaction, we find more or less independent and active presentation complexes with much effect, whose expansion seems to be much more powerful than among normals. The reactions are frequently interrupted by complex disturbances. Together with the usual complex indicators, we occasionally find some with amnestic manifestations and phenomena of consciousness. The critical stimulus word is often forgotten, and in its place, the previous one is named. The cause of the fault is unknown to the subject, the distraction to the surroundings, and the misunderstanding of the stimulus word are other complex indicators. A further large group of complex indicators is formed by reactions which do not denote the complex by the stimulus word, but are only associated in the remotest way with the word denoting the complex. This arises in one of two ways. Either the complex excited by the stimulus word is repressed and the reaction is superficially associated with the complex, being so apprehended as not to betray the complex, but to call up instead a seemingly indifferent reaction. Take as examples the cover reactions in cases 4 and 5, Mrs. M.C. and Verena D. Mrs. Verena D. reacts, faithful, servants should be faithful. Behind this innocent sentence lies the fear about her husband's infidelity. The replacement of the complex presentation by a seemingly innocent reaction is a symptom of repression. I interpreted similarly the conversion symptoms of Lena H., The physical conversion symptom is associated to the complex, but is not noticeable to the observer and to the consciousness of the patient, thus guaranteeing the dissociation between the complex and the conscious. Or the action of the complex is so powerful that its influence reaches out to a distant series of presentations, determining them likewise. Cross-reference a number of the reactions in sentence form in cases 4 and 5. Among the complex indicators, distraction to the surroundings and the non-understanding of the complex excitant stimulus words play a certain role. I have added numerous instances. The stimulus word may be assimilated to the complex. The stimulus word is apprehended as best suits the complex or as best conceals it. 
Distraction to surroundings often appears when it is a question of an affect determined distraction in order to avoid the critical stimulus word. I once had the following experience. A boy of 12 injured his knee one Sunday from a fall. Numerous stitches were required to close the wound. The anesthesia was very light, so that the boy still reacted at each stitch, although faintly and with amnesia after the operation. In this light narcosis, he carried on a conversation, the whole meaning of which was to distract himself from the operation, to repress all thoughts about it. It partly recalled Ganser's answers, partly wish-fulfillment dreams, which have likewise their roots in repression and distraction from a disagreeable complex. He said spontaneously and loudly, Today's Monday. Then come along, Tony. We're leaving off and going for a game. Then, as if in scorn of the intense pain of the operation, he told a friend what Christmas presents he had got, and so on. Not infrequently, we find this occurring. Young quotes the case of a woman who during an operation fell into a twilight state where in hallucination she was walking among flowery fields. The observations in Gonser's twilight states speak partly in favor of these answers and the formation of wish-fulfillment deliria as semi-complex phenomena of a related nature. Partly, however, the observations speak in favor of an unconscious stimulation. The complex can alter the apprehension, remove the stimulus or stimulus word, produce hallucinations favoring the repression or wish fulfillment, so that the contrary of that which is the content of the repressed presentation complex occurs. So far as my observations permit a conclusion, my view already expressed several times in this work has been confirmed, that the complex with its activities is the all-important matter in hysterical psychology, and that all hysterical symptoms can be derived therefrom. End of section 38.